evening. I'm Stephanie Karina from here on YouTube and today I'm going to show you guys some really cute and easy DIY spring room decor. If you guys love DIY videos then be sure to check out my channel. I make a ton of DIY videos. They're like my favorite so I do a lot of DIY room decor and other type of DIYs. I love doing just fun lifestyle videos. That being said if you guys want to see some really cute DIY spring room decor that's Tumblr inspired then just keep on watching. The first DIY is this polka dot coaster. I'm using a tile and I'm painting it white because I want the colors to be more vibrant and pop a lot more. Then you just want to choose some of your favorite nail polishes and I chose pastel colors for springtime. Just hold the applicator above the tile and let the nail polish drip down. Let it dry overnight and in the morning apply a coat of Mod Podge so that it's waterproof. Next up are these butterfly canvases and you can use these as wall decor or as organization. I took four canvases, some plastic butterflies and some acrylic paint. Good times, playing silly games, we touch. This night should never end Feels like a rush You're more than just a friend Then you changed Was it something that I said Ain't gonna cry Cause I know the sun will shine again rain, Keep driving with the top down. Once I finished painting all the canvases I took the plastic butterflies And I painted them the same colors just gluing the butterflies right in the center of each canvas. As you can see, these look so cute on the wall, but you can also store your necklace and other little trinkets. So I think this DIY is probably my favorite, and it's these tissue paper flowers. They seem complicated, but they're really easy. All you need is tissue paper, some string, and some scissors. Take five sheets of whatever main color you want, and then take two sheets of the center color that you want. So I'm doing yellow for the center and purple for the petals. You want to fold this accordion style, so fold it and then flip it over, fold it again, flip it over, fold it all the way until everything is folded. If I tell you everything about you, it's so take your center color and fold it up and take it away from your main color and you want to fold that in half and then cut it in half and then you want to make slits down one side. Once you finish making your slits in your center piece, go back to your main piece, fold that in half, and you want to cut the shape of the petal. So you can cut any shape that you want, but I wanted my petals to be round, so I'm just cutting a round shape. Now a major tip right here that is crucial to the flowers looking right is to go in between each petal and cut it like deeper, and that way they'll be easier to spread. I can tell you everything about you is so big, sir. Now you want to take your center color and unravel it and then put it in the middle and then just fold everything back up together and it will line up because we folded them together earlier. Okay, we're almost done, I promise. You want to take this and fold it in half and take some string and tie that around it and then you can just unravel the flower and fluff it and it's a big, puffy, beautiful flower and it's so cute. I put these on my wall and I think they're adorable. DIY is this custom planner. I thought it would be such a cute room decor piece if you put a succulent in a mug. So if you want to see how to do this custom DIY mug, I've actually already shown that in a video over on my channel, but the link will be in the description box if you want to see it. And I put the succulent inside of the mug that I made and I thought it looked so cute and very original. I don't see succulents in like mugs like that, so I love it. I think it's really cute. Those were all my DIY 
DIYs and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Hopefully it got you kind of excited for spring and gave you some inspiration on how to decorate your room for the upcoming season. Don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV's channel and come check out mine. The link will be in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you have an awesome day. Bye!